permutations of those e edges and check whether each permutation really corresponds to a valid path if it does then you have an eulerian path or a cycle and if it doesn't then you don't have uh, such a case right so procedurally this problem is not hard all you need to do is you test test out all possible paths of length e and there are e factorial of them because we don't we can't use the same edge twice so uh, the number of ways to arrange e edges without repetition is e factorial so we test out all e factorial paths if any of them corresponds actually test out all e factorial permutations if any of them is a valid path in the graph then that particular path is eulerian but but trying out e factorial possible paths all the e factorial possible paths becomes very hard for graphs of large size right because this the complexity of your algorithm is going to be uh is going to be exponential right so this is impractical for graphs of re you know reasonable size but this theorem allows you to immediately give the answer because all you need to do now is to check how many vertices have an odd degree so if there are n vertices in a graph you just check how many vertices have an odd degree you don't and, and that's just going to take time proportional to the number of vertices or and the number of edges so, the, so that's just going to be order v plus c if you're not familiar with this notation don't worry uh, conceptually what i'm saying is all you need to do in order to determine whether a graph is eulerian is to compute the degree of every vertex and see how many of those vertices how many vertices there are or with an or degree and these are the three possible cases and you will immediately you can immediately figure out what the answer is as opposed to testing out all every path with uh, uh you know testing out all possible permutations of the edges any questions so far okay so i'm going to give you an extension of the just to you know uh, just for practice sake i'm going to give you a uh, a fictitious extension to the konigsberg problem so imagine that you know after euler comes up with his proof konigsberg has let's say there are two there are two princes in konigsberg okay so the so the 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 ruler of konigsberg or the local king or whoever is locally ruling that city let's say he has two sons two princes and both of them are competing for you know uh for for sort of influence over konigsberg so the blue prince i'm just going to call uh, one of the princes as the blue prince and the other one as the red prince the blue prince controls this part of the city the red prince controls this part of the city and the only thing that's there in the center on the central island is an inn or a pub and the only thing on this side of the city is a church now both these brothers are rivals okay so initially what happens is the following the blue prince he analyzes the bridge system using euler's proof and he concludes that there does not exist an eulerian path in this in this system of bridges so what he does is he comes up with a plan okay so the blue prince wants to build an eighth bridge he comes up with a plan to add an eighth bridge to this city so that he can trace an eulerian cycle actually not an eulerian cycle he can trace an eulerian path so he wants to trace an eulerian path starting from where he is and ending at the inn starting from his castle and ending at the inn 
okay so he wants to uh, start in the morning tour the whole city and then in the evening he wants to land up at the inn where he's going to brag about his victory how he can how he can trace an oilarian path but he wants that the red prince should be unable to replicate this feat okay so he doesn't want the red prince to be able to do that from where he is so that he and not the red prince can trace an olarian path starting from his castle and ending at the inn so the question is where should he add the eighth bridge okay yeah yeah so the way yeah so that's right so the remember that the degree of the uh, four vertices before the eighth bridge was built was so the degree here is was 3 the degree of this vertex was also 3 the degree of this church was 3 and the degree of this central island was 5 now in order for there to be an oilarian path we know that there there have to be exactly two vertices with an odd degree so right now there are four vertices with an odd degree now we know that the vertex with an odd degree at the end is going to be either the starting vertex or the ending vertex so he wants to start from here so the degree of this vertex should remain odd because he wants to start the oilarian path from there and he wants to end at the inn so the degree of the inn should also remain odd right but the degree of these two vertices should become even otherwise they will not exist an oilarian path and the way to change the degree of these two vertices to be an even number is by adding an extra bridge between them so when you add an extra bridge between these two this becomes instead of 3 it becomes 4 this also becomes a degree 4 vertex and now there are exactly two vertices with an odd degree so you can trace an oilarian path starting from here and uh, the blue prince can start from here and traverse all the edges and then end at the end is this uh, clear okay here's the second part of the question the red prince now becomes angry at his brother now he wants to build a ninth bridge okay the red prince wants to build a ninth bridge so that he can trace an oilarian path starting from his castle which is here and end at the inn and you know at the end again he's going to mock his brother so he wants to mock his brother just like his brother was mocking him so he wants to build a ninth bridge he wants to add one bridge so that he will be able to follow an oilarian path and end at the inn and he wants his bl blueprint he wants his brother to not be able to replicate the feat so it's just the the the, the sort of the uh, the converse of this problem or the dual of this problem So where should the red prince add a ninth bridge so assuming that this bridge already exists okay this is the eighth bridge where should the uh, the red prince add a ninth bridge so that he can trace an oilarian path starting from here ending at the inn and he wants his brother not to be able to do that I can't uh, hear anyone. 
Oh, okay. So from here to here. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's right. So basically, if the Eulerian path has to start from here, then the degree of this vertex must be odd. So clearly, one endpoint of the bridge must be on the uh, in this region of the city. The ending point has to be the in. Now the ending point already has an odd degree, so that should, you know, that should remain as it is. This island here, which has the church, uh, I don't, sorry, not. Okay, you can treat this as a second island, although that's not necessary. Uh, you c so the church already has a degree four. 